this is SK Ghosh. I would like to welcome you to our web seminar today. The topic, as you see, is ever-changing structural provisions of our building codes. We are going to talk in particular today about the wind design provisions. The first thing, the first point I wanted to make, uh, all of you realize by now that the structural provisions of the IBC are basically all by reference to standards. The, the load provisions, the design provisions in Chapter 16 are by reference to ASC 7, minimum design loads and associated criteria for building structures and the materials chapters 19 through 23 are by reference to material standards. Chapter 19 on concrete, for instance, uses ACI 318. Uh, that being the case, uh, when we have significant changes in the structural provisions of the code only when the referenced ASC 7 edition changes. 2006 IBC adopted ASC 705 and ASC 705 remained the reference standard in 2009 IBC. So between 2006 and 2009 IBC there weren't many significant changes in structural provisions. The same way 2012 IBC adopted AC 710. So between 2009 IBC and 2012 IBC, there were very significant changes in structural provisions, which are the changes from AC 705 to 10. But then, because 2015 IBC also referenced AC 710, between 2012 and 2015 IBC, there weren't too many changes in the structural provisions. The 2018 IBC adopted ASC 716. So between 2015 and 2018 IBC, there were big changes in the structural provisions. 2021 IBC has retained AC 716. So between 2018 and 2021 IBC, there aren't too many changes. So this is the way things are at the moment. Now the reference standard AC7 from which all the load provisions and seismic design provisions are being adopted by the IBC. This slide shows that there haven't been all that many provisions, all that many additions of AC7. The very first one was uh, ANSI, that stands for American National Standards Institute, ANSI A58.1-1972. Back in those days, it was not an AC standard. And modern wind design, as we practice it today, started in that document, very important document in, in, in that way. And CA 58.1-1972. Those were not the days of three-year standard updates, so the next edition was NCA 58.1-1982. Then in the mid-80s, the ownership of the standard got transferred from NC to ASCE, and the first edition of the standard to be published under the AC banner was AC 788. Then AC 793, but importantly between 88 and 93, there were no changes except that new seismic design provisions were adopted. Okay. That is beyond the scope of our uh, scope of our seminar today. So as far as wind design is concerned, there was no difference between AC 788 and 93. Then AC 795, huge changes in wind design provisions. So from 72 to 82 to 88, I will show you uh, seven. 
72 to 82, there were changes, 82 to 88, minor changes, if any. 95 was the first time there were big changes in what was started in 1972. <clears throat> then 98 edition, 02 edition, 05 edition, so AC started three year or tried three year updates for a while, although 98 to 02 was four years. And then they decided to abandon that and go for a six year cycle. As a transition, there was a five-year cycle to ASC 710, and now it is ASC 716. The next one, ASC 722, is almost final, not quite, but, but the contents are pretty much set. That, that will be the next edition. 